Hi, today we are going to create a belt roller using AutoCAD 2016 in 3D. We will be creating the assembly of parts and do the rendering of the assembly. This one here is the symbol belt roller and these are the exploded parts. This is the top plate, the roller, the axle or the shaft, the two bushings, and the two axle supports. Let us start drawing the wheel first. Rotate the Z axis towards this direction. Turn off the grid. C for type C for circle or grab it from the ribbon. Type D. Press enter for diameter. Enter 100. Right click, repeat circle, click the center, type D, type enter or press enter, enter the value of uh, 38, right click again, repeat circle, type D, enter, type 22, enter. Now the thickness of this, uh, of the outermost um, circle is uh, 3, so we will ups offset this uh, circle, O for offset, enter, uh, enter 3, enter again, and click the circle. Click press pull command from the ribbon. Highlight the area in between the two circles. Enter the height of um, 38. This is the height or the thickness. Right click again or press pull command again highlight this area enter 38 right click for press pull again highlight this area see it turns uh, into blue enter 38 right click press pull again pull this up for 14 for the indentation uh, press shift key and the middle of your mouse or the middle roller and turn Press this one, enter 14 for the indentation, right click, enter. Next, uh, we'll do the bushing. Circle again from the ribbon. Enter D or type D for diameter. Enter 34. Right click to repeat circle. Type D. Enter. 
uh, enter the value of uh, what is the value here 22 right click again to repeat circle grab the center type D enter 16 or type 16 now thickness is uh, 5 so use uh, extrude command and type 5 for the height extrude again click the next circle pull it for 12 or height of 12 and extrude again the middle circle or the smallest circle and pull it all the way okay now we will create the hole so so in order to do that we will use uh, let's use the subtract command from the ribbon so click the object you want to keep right click select the object you want to remove now we have the bushing oops uh, use press pull highlight this one right click copy selection now we're done with um, two bushings and wheel for the axle support we have to change the Z axis to a different direction and let's start drawing the circle type D enter type in uh, 22 for diameter line 48 Outside circle is not given, but we know that the thickness is uh, 10. So I presume this is 10 here and this is 10 too. So it makes sense. So uh, enter O for offset, distance for 10. Select the object you want to offset. Select polyline, just hover so we don't have to do construction line again. So uh, enter 41. Come on. 41. No. So from distance 41 from the center, you bring back the crosshair and enter the value of 82. And then right click, select uh, tangent, enter, right click to repeat line or polyline, shift, right click, select tangent.
All right, so this is 48. Now, let us uh, trim the unwanted segments. So T, R for trim, enter, right click. Delete, type join, enter, select the segments you want to join. Now extrude this part for 10, yeah the thickness is 10. pull this uh, circle and then let's create another circle this circle this one here is for this protrusion of uh, two two units this one here so select circle extrude for two units and then go to um, union command to combine Select 3D polyline. The distance from here to here is uh, 38. Go across for 82. Go back. Type C to close, then enter. Extrude this one for 10. The radius or the circle for this corner here is not given but this plate or axle support is congruent to the top plate so since the radius and circle of, for the top plate is given or are given so we are gonna make uh, create holes with the size of 11 diameter and radius of 12 so first we have to go to solid and then fillet edge click radius the value here is uh, the outside one is 12 enter the value of 12 What happened to my computer? It's slowing down now. Fillet edge, radius, enter 12, enter. Select the edge for the corner. And again, uh, go back to home. Enter circle with the diameter of um, 11. D for diameter enter 11 and again circle with diameter with a diameter of uh, 11 
or just copy copy and then make a hole just press pull Realistic. There's no hole in there, so we're, we're just gonna do a press pull. Make sure you hit the one in the inside and just grab it and then let go. There goes your hole. Okay. Let's do the union command. Combine these two. Now let's do the assembly, but first we have to rotate this one top plate and this um, axle support enter 180 degrees rotate this one Enter 180 degrees. Go front. Make sure we are on parallel. Okay, um, before we mirror, make sure we are on the XY plane. So select this one here, the biggest uh, rectangle for the XY plane. Type MI for mirror. Specify center point. Select no. Rotate this one to be parallel to that direction. Select top plate. Hit this blue color here. Uh, enter 90 degrees. Now we can unhide the hidden objects. So go to isolate and object isolation. This one has to be rotated. Select the blue color here. Uh, rotate it to 180 degrees. Insert the shaft into the shaft, shaft support or the axle support. Grab this one and move it. Click the center, click the center of the shaft, the 
see. Yeah, it looks like it's centered. Grab the top plate, move the patch, grab the corner here, attach it here. Grab the roller, move the center here to the center here. As you can see, there is um, this thing, it's not centered, but as we know. thickness of this uh, roller is 38 and the thickness of this uh, center of the axle is 40 so this one can move uh, one unit move to center now it's centered let's just erase this unwanted drawing now uh, let's move the um, bushing or a patch grab the center attach it to the center here grab the other one Right click move, grab the center, attach it to the center here, let's see, let's check the x-ray. Material in A materials. Okay, I have um, the materials ready here, so I'm just gonna use. Uh, dice for the top
we're done. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.